IQ, intelligence quotient. What is it and does it even matter? This is Neurodiversipedia. We're going to talk about it. Welcome to Neurodiversipedia, where we explain all those big, complicated words pertaining to neurodiversity in ways that everybody can understand. IQ stands for Intelligence Quotient. It's measuring cognitive abilities, problem-solving skills, basically what people would call smartness. But it's comparing that smartness to other people your age, which at the end of the day, isn't a really good, accurate metric. Here's how the IQ test works. A score of 100 means you're average for your age. A score of above 100 means you're typically more intelligent or smarter, according to this test. Is your IQ score genetic? It's probably a mixture of environmental factors and genetic factors. So can your IQ or your child's IQ change over time? Sure, while you can't necessarily change the genetic factors, you can change the environmental factors by helping increase their education quality. A lot of kids who are diagnosed autistic actually have a higher IQ than the average people their age. Sometimes we call these kids twice exceptional kiddos or students. If you want to take an IQ test, you could take one online, and there are also other doctors and professionals that can administer this test. But at the end of the day, it might not really be a good metric for somebody's intelligence. Did that help you understand the term? If yes, give us a thumbs up or subscribe below. If it didn't, then leave us a comment and tell us why. What are we missing? We always want to do better. This is a project by Goalie. Check us out at getgoalie.com.